So, um, hello everyone and welcome to my 11th Pascal tutorial. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to write a, write a procedure in Pascal. Then I haven't done a video for quite a while now. But hopefully from now on I should be able to upload them on a more regular basis. I'm using a different screen recorder now as well. So I think it does record in a better quality. And it doesn't make my computer lag. So... We'll just start off with the initial program now. So we're going to write program. Um, we should do this. We'll, we'll call it. I'll call, I'll call this plus two. Because we're, we're just going to make a function that pluses two to whatever number you've gave it. Given it. Gave it. Given it. Yeah, given it. Um, I don't know. Var will be. the plus two number and this is going to be an integer and then we're going to do that we're going to write the main program then we'll write the function after it but we're going to put it before the main program if you know what I mean because you have to do it in order <laughs> but um, we'll just do for the main program it's going to be uh, Plus, actually, no, we'll just write begin and end because I'm confusing myself here because I can't actually remember how to write a function. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this off the top of my head, you see. Um, so, uh, you write function. I know I'm meant to do something here, but I, oh, my days. Wait, I'm going to pause this video quickly. And I'll be back with you with the... Hopefully I should know what I'm doing. I think I'm recording. This this, this, uh, this screen recorder doesn't actually tell me if I'm recording or not. So I think I know what I'm doing now. So we're just going to call this the add to function. And uh, it's going to need one input. Oh yeah, but uh, what function like before we write this out. What a function is, it's kind of a procedure, but it has an output. So um, I'm going to do add to is the name of the function. So that's how you call it. It only needs um, one number. So we'll do uh, 50. Ooh, what am I doing? Num1. And then it's going to output it. So you write, uh, you write the name of the function in brackets how many um, things it needs to work and then the type of variable is going to be output in. so I think this is recording again, I have to pause there quickly um, so I, think, I think I said before I got distracted but uh, that's the name of the function, in the brackets is what it needs to work so we're going to say this only needs one number and then it's going to out and what it outputs so um in the side the function when we're at begin and we say num we want to do whatever we have with num1 uh I think you're right as num1 plus 2 because we're doing a add to function and then uh oh what am I doing there I mean num1 equals is colon equal to num1 plus 2 that makes more sense there see um, and then we have to let me s it's annoying when it's too close and then we have to do add 2 because we said because we were writing a function now add 2 is equal to whatever num1 is so that's what's going to be output in whatever num1 is so if it's 50 it would be 50 52 I don't even write equals. Why is it not working? So the thing is, I might be actually doing shortcuts here because the shortcut layout for my uh, new screen recorder is a bit messed up and I haven't changed it. I can't actually remember if it's using like, the equals and plus signs. So it might actually stop recording at random times. I'm trying to keep this small because I've noticed with the screen recorder is um, if I record over five minutes at one time, it decides it doesn't want to compress it properly. So right now we'll just write end. 
And then we go back to main pro ooh. main program. Like we'll, we'll separate this with uh, this is the main program. Look at my cool. Oops, cool. Commenting. And then inside here, you want to write um, plus two number, the variable you set up here. So if you didn't call it plus two number, call it, uh, put whatever you put there. So I think I'm doing this right. Um, plus two number is equal to uh, the add to function. Why? Why does A have to be next to the caps lock? But first we have to run that add to function before it, if you are mean. So uh, we write add to here. In brackets 50. And then I keep forgetting the semicolons. I was doing good at the, at the start. Um, then we're going to write line. Inside there, you want to put the whatever variable you put at the top with the var bit. I think I have done this the right way. And make sure you put a read line to keep the window open. I don't know for the for the sake of this video. Underneath, I'm going to put it in brackets. And then we'll just see if this runs. I didn't make a folder for this, didn't I? In my desktop. Uh, Pascal, I don't think that's... Yeah, this should be all my tutorials. So this is my function tutorial. So this should output 52 on the screen. What have I messed up? So I'm going to pause this again quickly. thing I missed out was num2. You have to actually do it like a proper variable. Uh, num1. I think I'm recording. This is what I hate about this. I actually don't have a clue if I'm recording. Why is it... Oh, I'm going to have to rewrite this. Num... Yeah, num1 has to be an integer. Ugh, my terrible spelling. Uh, colon is an integer. That's what I forgot there. So you have to say num1 is an integer and you want it to output another integer. Num1 is equal to... Oh, this is going to be terrible. Hey, if your cursor goes like this while you're doing it, this means when you're writing, like... I'll type out something here. And you'll, you'll see why it's annoying. So, like, you have this random text. And say, I want to delete the U. You can't actually select in front of the U. You have to click on the next letter in front. And uh, back, like, if I, like, I'm selecting the U. But usually if you highlight a letter, like, I don't actually, know, I can't remember how you get rid of it. I did know how you get rid of it. But so far, you could, you could just close the program and reopen it. But we'll just compile this again. Oh, my days. What is this, my bad spelling? We'll do two numbers. We'll do uh, num two. See how I'm o uh, overwriting that? I'm sorry, I need to pull. Sorry there again. I'm just looking after my brothers. It's really distracting. So, uh, num one, num two is an integer. In enclosed the brackets, you want an output as an integer. Make sure I'm spelling these all right, because 
I know my spelling's terrible. But, uh, and 50. We'll do 50 plus 50. And then inside it, we'll change this to uh, num1 plus. Wait, yeah, num1 plus num2. Uh, let me pause this again because I really can't remember this. So actually, I actually don't know what I'm doing wrong. This should work if I got rid of um. That should work. Sure, that should work. So from I've got two numbers here now. So that should that should output fifty two. What? What have I done wrong? Since it's a uh, colon, what oh, colon? Yeah, colon. Um, expected but identify integer found. Oh, don't it? That wasn't the same error I had before, was it? No, you just have to write in that I'm sure this is alright. Program plus two like the thing is um maybe I'm doing the same like sometimes when you link the name like a variable with the name of the actual program it goes wrong. It's just uh wrong amount of Is that better? Could be because I keep doing colon equals. See, this is probably going to be my worst tutorial. Especially with this uh, dodgy thing. The cursor. Well, so I'm going to close this and reopen it. I'm going to pause this while I do it. So yeah, I've got my cursor back. I think what I've actually done here, that's wrong, is before this add to, I need another variable called, what shall I call it? Um, temp. Because you don't really need it. So yeah, we're going to add another variable, call it temp with the other variables. And uh, it's temp. Of add to, I think it works. This is like this is really stressful, and I don't actually know when programs are working. What uh, my programs aren't working. Because like sometimes you you write it all right. So this that should work. Plus two number is equal to temp add two. Sure, that should work. I actually think I know what the problem was. I'm writing it too big because I'm writing this as if you gave like input the input yourself. So this this line is all right. Just in the wrong place. So I don't actually need that temp variable because I'm stupid. But we'll, we'll forget about that. So hopefully this compiles. Oh my days! What? Have I not put an end somewhere? Yes, read line. False. Oh, yeah, it's because I'm writing it like a function. That's that could have been. Uh. So this should do fifty two if this works. I'm probably gonna. I don't know. Yeah. So there you go. You've got fifty two. This will. This will just add. Or do whatever you've done in this function here. So you just call if you write like. 
a reason why this is good to use a function would be um, if you need to use like that kind of calculation multiple times, they're writing this out all the time. If you have it at the top of your your program, like before your main program, or I think procedures can use functions. I get confused, but um, it it helps with a uh, not it just reduces how much you have to type because then like if you need to add plus two to I don't know, five different numbers, instead of right now fi like this. Uh, it'd be essentially that every time. It just shortens it down to writing the function you want to use, then a, and a number in it, and write that in there. So, this might have to add in another variable, maybe. Unless you're resetting the variable. But yeah, that's the end of my video. Hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching.